And welcome to the first fight of the second night here in the first round of the Title Shot Eliminator Tournament. I'm DT Elam alongside Yusuf Q and Enrique Iglesias. And tonight we're excited. Inside this one, we got the Burger Man facing Grumpy. What do you think we're going to see here, Yusuf? Well... We know Burger Man's very explosive, very uh, unpredictable. Grumpy, he has an awkward start himself. Um, good boxer, unpredictable as well. We shall see how much how this play out. Right. And tonight we'll have our ringside analyst going down to Enrique Iglesias, looking down, telling us what's happening in the corners. Enrique, you excited about this one? Oh, yes, DT. I'm so excited for this bout. We have Burger Man versus Grumpy. It's going to be an excited first fight of the second night of the title shot eliminator tournament. I can't wait to see this fight. Back to you, DT. Thank you, Enrique. Hands rubbing together here. Folks, get your soda pops, get your candy bars, and get your hot dogs. It's going to be a good one. These two fighters should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody. All righty. So tonight, the Burger Man be using Josh Taylor, while Grumpy will be using Amir Khan. The Glass Jaw Khan. The man does have a soft chin. And here we go. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be the burger man wearing all black with Taylor coming out here trying to be an executioner. He's dressed for somebody's funeral. Couldn't land that jab. Circling the ring here. Little body shot by American. And he's just some jabs. The old lefty against the orthodox. Gotta love it. It usually is an advantage for the southpaw, but but sometimes sometimes we see the opposite. And as we should, it is a, it's a mirror fight. Here's to be a con. It started pretty fast. Halfway through the round, couple blows to the bread basket there by the Burger Man. Oh, good right hand with the top by Miracon. Grumpy seems to be trying to fight from the outside here. A little pop there. Definitely a fill out round we're seeing here. A lot of fighters focus on their defense with their hands up. This fighter focuses on the Burger Man seems to be stalking the body. Take a little bit of tank, a little gas out of the tank because Amir Khan has blazing hand speed. I still think Amir Khan is beating Burger Man at the moment, though. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no very efficient. If Bruggeman doesn't land on a hard shot in this round, I think uh, Amir Khan takes this. Mm. Oh. Couple took there at the, at the end of the round. I think Grumpy probably took that first round. I'm with you on that, Yusuf. 
See if the burger man comes out with a little more aggressive. Burger man started kind of slow. Oh, God. Great counters by American, a.k.a. Grumpy. Grumpy's been incredibly patient here. Oh, and he caught one himself. Big left hook by the burger man. But you got to love the game plan here. Retreat. Get your feet back. Because we both know, as we've noted before, Amir Khan doesn't have the strongest chin. Oh, he caught another one there. Burger Man doing a little better this round. Throwing a lot faster as usual. You got to wonder if the judges are going to lock the aggression from the Burger Man or they're going to lock wow. the efficiency here. Beautiful counter. Yes. Sorry to cut you off right there. I saw the great counter, though. Ooh. Meeting back in the middle here. Burger Man got the better of that exchange. Whilst Grumpy got the better of that exchange. It's like a teeter-totter here, Yusuf. It's a little back and forth, yeah. But I think uh, Burger Man has the slight edge on it a little bit right now. I think he started kind of fast early in the round. Definitely a much better round for him. Mm. Couple body shots there. A lot of patience here. All right, let's take it down to Enrique. Enrique, what do you see in the corners down there inside this this first portion of the fight? Joseph Q D T E L. I can tell you here ringside. Grumpy gets the first round, looking real comfortable. However, the Burger Man is starting to get his own lather going on. It's looking like we gave him that last round. It's looking like. We're going to be a competitive end of the third round. Let's see if Burger Man can compatibilize and keep it going. Thank you, Enrique. And some action happening right here in the middle of the ring as both men choose to fight here in the middle. Exchanging shots. I like the heart and dedication. Both these men, their eyes glimmer with the chance of that title shot. Good sequence there by Grumpy. Trying to fill out and, and really find the range here. Both men, really. Getting what they can. Ooh. Snappy little jab there by Grumpy. Burger Man, shot to the body. A one-two. Looks like he's finding a rhythm here. And as soon as he finds a rhythm, Grumpy disrupts that rhythm. Bergman lands a par left down to the pipe. Will that be enough to run the round? Still plenty of time here in the round. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This right here is going to determine the round here. Oh, oh good left down the pipe by Burger Man. The Burger Man becoming more patient himself after swarming last round. Let's see how the Enrique Iglesias reporting live here ringside. Burger Man started to turn this into a fight, winning the last round. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going his way as he's going into the one two combination steady work towards con thank you enrique little body shot by american downstairs and he goes with a hook upstairs well what do you see here yusuf how do you see this round going how do you what do you think that what do you think that uh grumpy needs to do right now Mm, I think he needs to just control the pace of the fight. 
and show who's boss. You know, you guys take advantage of uh, Amir Khan's uh, attributes. But Bargain Man it looks like he's finding some rhythm right now. Oh, uppercut on the inside there. Sharp body shot following. Grumpy came back to get his get back. Veteran move, tying up there. Throwing a hook off the top. That's real cunning yep. move there. Yeah, if being American allows you to do those type of moves like that, he has certain traits that other boxers don't have. Good world class hand pipe. speed. World class hand speed. Hmm. Oh my god. Good left hand down the pipe. Right hand, I guess. Oh my god. Crushing body shot by the burger man. That shot was a mere inch from from being blocked, but it landed clean. Oh! Right there at the bell. Did you see that? You just Yes, that was insane. Would that persuade the judges to fuck Miracon to win this round right here? Joseph Q and DT Elon. Ringside here is Enrique Iglesias, and Taylor is from this vantage point trying to capitalize with that straight left, where they can get it with the left hook. Uppercut is straight. He's looking to land that left versus Khan. Thank you, Enrique. Definitely some uh, some head hunting going on here. Neither man is is just trying to box. They're they're definitely engaging. Getting scrappy. And what do you think the Burger Man needs to do, Yusuf? I think he needs to just use his jab and fight in spots. Don't let uh, Amir Khan to oh, do, do exactly oh. that. <laughs> he may have made a mistake trying to move into that uh, that orthodox stance there. He soon after caught a beautiful left. Fellas. Here ringside, Grumpy is doing a phenomenal job with his stamina management here versus the Burger Man as he puts him against pressure. Pounding his oh. ribs. And it saves him. He knocked him, you know, hit him with a good body shot and then grabs him so he won't fall down. He's showing some type of mercy right there. The the ref said we can't let that. It looks like a standing eight count here. Oh wow! Unbelievable! Wow! A barbaric blow and a barbaric move to to, to drop your opponent, but catching before he hits the ground just to throw a couple more. You know, that's almost on ground to losing a point there, Yusuf. Ruthless. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it's fair to say that uh, Grumpy wants that title. Nice one-two there out in the middle of the ring. He can almost smell it, too. And Grumpy being de defensively responsible here. Oh, and he ordered him a, a spare rib there. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they nice jab. Hands, so get ready to see some lightning. This can be so frustrating when you Yeah, Grumpy's patience really held him through this fight. As Enrique noted earlier, his stamina, his ability to retain that stamina has been amazing through this fight so far. Uh, you can see him fire at will, throw combinations. And he's he's in control right now. Mm. Mm. The first night of the tournament, we saw Pekaz 
advance. And correct me if I'm wrong, but he will actually face off with the winner of our next fight tonight, where Dope Sun and Patty Melt Maximus square off. The winner of this fight will go on to fight TKO. That should be interesting. That man took down one of the hottest fighters in the league. Oh, we see a little life coming back from the burger man here. Too little, too late, though. It's going to be too little, too late right now. Ford and live here. Beginning of the seventh round. When you see Amir Khan, the grumpy man, steadily ahead of this bout. Back to you, fellas. Thank I'm you, surprised. Enrique. I'm surprised they have it so this so this so one sided. The the burger man is 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 struggling here to to find a rhythm. The grumpy man, on the other hand, is implementing a game plan. Uh, you, you're just kind of waiting for the burger man to throw that shot and catch him, and put him down and and start squaring this fight away. We still have three rounds to go, Yusuf. Yes, anything can happen in sport of boxing. It's all offense all the time. Pretty close fight here in this round. Brothers, standing here ringside. Grumpy is really got himself into a good flow here as he dictates the floor of this fight. Closing it out in fashion as you see him there tagging the burger man with the straight masterful, masterful masterpiece here by the grump. Thank you, Enrique. It is a master class that the the grump the grumpy man as he's stealing the man out of the burger man right now. Body yes, blow yes. landed. Oh, oh and he Sorry, returned the body blow there. He's got him on the retreat, Yusuf. Oh, he's stalking him, Yusuf. Let's see if he can finish him. Mm. 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 Wow. He threw, some, he threw some water inside the basement there. You know, the burger man, Yusuf Q and DT Elam, He's always looking to make a burger out of you. Up top, you can see the grumpy man is oh, he's caught oh, one. And the burger, burger man stumbles him back. He's been patient with his shots. Can he get rid of down the middle to the body? And the and he grumpy escapes. man has survived. And, and escapes. He almost had him there. Very close call there. Wow. What a change. DTI, DTI thought. I really thought that Burger Man had it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble. He got out of that as well. Both men surviving this. I too thought the Burger Man was about to get himself a 10 8 round. Oh, wow. my goodness. And now the Burger Man's getting him a right hook. Or a burger. Oof. Wow. Both of these men are on shaky legs. Nice hook by the burger man. The speed of Khan is definitely bottoming the burger man. Yeah, I think this is where the burger man wants it. Right here. Nose to nose. Throwing those uppercuts on the inside. And a phone that bottom. And a fumble type of fight. Indeed. Indeed. This round was a hard round to score. Both men hurt each other. Both men were landing clean plus shots. It, it That was a hard round to score, Yusuf. 
very yeah. hard on the score. Yes, it is. When you have two stuns like that, it's pretty hard to pick up, pick a side. You know, I, th I think that round was probably the most active round for for Grumpy because prior to that, he's very, very patient at, at picking his shots and was pretty much just leading the burger man around, which it seems like he's going back to that now. He's, he's playing mouse in the cat and mouse, but he's, he's playing Jerry. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that, yeah. Yusuf? He would he would uh, lead him in, in, around the corner and bam, he would have a huge boxing glove with TNT in it that smashed Tom's face. Well, that's what he's doing tonight. He's playing cat and mouse and he's being the mouse. Han right now is finding so so phenomenal. As for the Burger Man, I think he needs to find his range more and uh, not chase Amir Khan. Well, the and held titles in other leagues in the past. He he wants this title as well. And you can see right now that if he can persevere. Oh, mm. my. Oh, no. Oh, and Grumpy threw another right hand. Being patient. Oh, a dirty move by the burger, man. Trying to buy some time. Trying to buy some time, looks like. Oh, oh. wow. Look at that fuck. Oh. The burger the ref, switching stances here. If the ref didn't see the headbutt, it, was, it is legal. <laughs> <laughs> Both men throwing straight down the pipeline, throwing those straights. That headbutt reminds me of a Bernard Hawkins type of headbutt. <laughs> Bernard, one of the greatest to ever step inside the ring and definitely one of the dirtiest fighters to step in the ring. Interesting round there. I, I say that if I, I say that if Grumpy would put his foot on the pedal here, I think that he could press the action and end it. But we've seen we've seen the last several rounds, Yusuf. We've seen that getting too excited gets him caught and clipped. And Burger Man still carrying that power into the late rounds. Would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt DT man Yusuf Q. Oh, oh my goodness, can never count the burger man out of this fight. Oh my god, what a big three by American. He ties up. Throw some body shots off of that. This fight's action packed. We can't even get a word in from our, our sideline commentator down there, our ringside commentator. Oh! Oh my God! My goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, a wow. clean one shotter. Right there! Oh my! Big strike! Big strike! Wow. Oh, right in front of the panel. Did you guys see that? Did you guys get some sweat on your brow there? Well, My luckily, I'm, I'm actually wearing the uh, the waterproof get up tonight, and <laughs> I saw something roll right off of me there. I felt bad for Burger Man's kids. They had to see that. That is a shame, but that's the risk you take when you want to bring your family to these types of events. Don't want your own risk, I suggest. But he, the Burger Man's children should be very happy that they got a warrior. Oh, wow. Look at that warrior in there. My goodness. Oh, the body blows. It's giving him a snotty nose, folks. Oh. And he made it. Wow. Good performance by Grumpy. That was an excellent performance by Grumpy. It was, uh, it was a very, very patient fight there. Wow. It looks like Grumpy's going to advance on. He's going to be fighting TKO. Wow. Can't wait to see this next fight. Can't wait to see this next fight, Yusuf. And coming off that exciting fight, we're going to be getting right into our final fight of the 
evening, you sir. Of course we are. This must be a good one. Who we got here? Let's see. We're gonna have Patty Melt Maximus and Dope Son. Dope Son. Uh, Pat, Patty Melt's gonna be using uh, Josh Taylor, the ti- the Torton Tornado, and Dope Son's gonna be using Amir Khan. The so, last jaw Khan from the Bronx. <laughs> let's see how it goes. These two men are eager. And they're off to the races here in the first round. Again, this is the final fight of the first round. Patty Mount comes out throwing. Good jab to the body. From Patty Mount. No rest for the weary. There's not a seat to be had in this. I do love a good orthodox southpaw scrabble. And we've had several in this tournament already. And once again, watch the feet. Adamant looks like he's taking advantage of that right now. Of the awkward softball stance. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Good combo foam, dope sign. From the Bronx. Again, this is the last fight in the tournament. Judge is going to have a tough job. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. Both so men posturing here. More than happy. Looking what for a, angles. What a combo from Dope Son. Counter puncher, then basically you do the counter. Kind of must win this. He's still throwing some good shots. First, and then you answer in kind. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to. Dope right. Son's actually making him miss here, though. Dancing around a bit, going downstairs, flicking the jab. It's a close fight for me to call. I don't know. It's a tough one for me to call. Mm. That's going to conclude the first round. Was a very tough first round to call there. Both Patty men Mo. getting busy. Patty Mo started strong, but Khan, Dosan ended strong as well at the end of the round. I agree. Let's see how they come out here in the second. And style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then mm. the looks like Dope Son's trying to commit here. He throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Which fighter will say no moss? Every time oh, wow. he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Counter punches have to hurt. Johnny, a lot of fighters focus on their defense with their hands up. This fighter focuses on their defense. It looks like Dome Sun is controlling the rhythm of this round right now, currently. And another miss by Patty Melt Maximus. Looks like he's getting a little antsy in there. Getting caught with shots to the left and the right. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one's there. Oh, good shot by Patty Mo. Meeting in the middle of the ring here. Now bouncing on the toes. Oh my oh, God! And he's rocked. Mel. Oh wow! Patty Mill drops Dope Son in the second. That is a surprise. Incredible. Well, Patty Mill is known for his power early in the early in the round, so not too surprising to me. The man's known to take a lot of shots as well. So I imagine he'll be hungry for that buffet and plethora of punches. Oh, good shot by Patty Bell. Patty Bell, man, looking strong in that second round. He got him a 10-8 there. And there's the bell to 
but let's see what dope son's gonna come out and how he's gonna respond what a knockdown one minute you need one hour to get over a shot like that now it's down to conditioning now it's down to mental strength and preparation it's how you are going to deal with it Beautiful response by Dope Son there. To put some combination work together. Catching the three piece on the gloves and returning one himself. Looks like Dope Son is very uh, active so and aggressive, so I think uh, Patty Mo has opportunities to counter him. It's knockout or bust. Patty Mo swinging and missing, and Dope Son capitalizing on those. Oh. The old one-two. Loading up on these power shots are not a good thing this early in the fight. But we're going to guess it's part of the game plan. Pat Emmett's looking really good early on. He's trying to control that rhythm, the momentum. And he's banging. It's okay to be aggressive now. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. I think that Dope Son's finding range here, and he's finding exactly where it is. And I think Patty Mel's starting to struggle with that a little bit. Dope Son landed two good hot shots right there in that sequence. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. A little bit of grappling going on. Some Oh my God! Patty Mel, an interesting round to judge because there at the end, Patty Mel seemed to grab some points, but early on in that that round, it seemed that uh the dope son was piling up some points itself. The unofficial has a two-one for Patty Mel. Wow! Can we get Enriquez and Glaciers to call in? Let's see if we can get a. Keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won the station in here with the Ricky is glaciers. Ricky, what do we got going on down there? Ricky Glaciers here, ringside, and nope, looks like Patty Melts got himself into a nice lather here. Oh, hell, here comes Dope Son. Wow, Patty Melt going down hard from the three, following up to a little body shot. Oh, wow. Can Patty Mel get up from this? Wow. Got Just as Enrique was, was explaining that one man had received damage, the other gets just as much damage. What a shot. What a shot. But what does the game plan have to look like now? Look at his corner. Look at his structure. They're telling him to calm down. Oh, Dope Son looks like he's stalking here. He looks like he's stalking. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow get to the end of the round. It's a good start to the round for this guy. What a response. You can see who's winning. You can see who's What a response. That's one thing that we've seen a lot of through this tournament, Yusuf. We've seen a lot of heart. Both guys are showing pure heart and pure skill. Oh, good body shot from Patty Mel. And another. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated. Look, he's looking like he's trying to get the get back here from that knockdown that he received. And oh, and Dopsa makes him pay for it. Makes him pay for that aimless aggression. Something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. You know, these flurries at the end of the round by, by Patty Melt is it's trying to steal the rounds, but it doesn't seem to be working in rounds like that where he gets flattened in the corner. It's a fast paced fight. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the It's pretty corner. even with that. It's pretty even with that knockdown right there though. Back on point again. This round, that was the great equalizer. A left hook. <laughs> I suggest putting him with the box in the outside for a bit and make 
throw some come to him a bit. Oh, my God. Oh, what is and something came to him indeed. <laughs> and it was another left hand. Dope Sun is certainly running with this momentum from the knockdown. What have we seen so far? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the beautiful. Speed, someone can take you out with a beautiful one, and then down to the bottom. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Can they figure when that bottle's empty, when that bottle's on the ground. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night. Dope Sun's being very poised right now. Very poised. Not in good face. He seems to be waiting for a mistake. Jab does not score. And Patty Mount doesn't seem that he's recovered from that knockdown. He's 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 fighting like a man that's dare I say scared. You'd like to see more jabs. I think it's the speed of Dobson right now just intimidating him. Oh God! Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, another body blow. Nonetheless, this is still a good fight for both men. Still, still, it's anybody's fight. Still. Both men have tasted the canvas. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Author stools. Both men are experienced. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make Though Maximus sure has a slight run. edge on experience, so Dopeson has been incredibly efficient since joining the True Sam Boxing League. Good mm. shot by Patty Bell. So Patty Bell's still in this fight. I wouldn't count him out so early. Enrique, what are we seeing down there after that second knockout? Knockdown. So much for being a good sport here. Well, on my unofficial scorecard, I now have Dope Son up by one round. He has momentum here in the middle middle rounds. This is a high octane battle. I think Desis Maximus is starting to tire out. Trainers are starting to get a little worried. They asking for some ice packs here for the next round. Fellas. Thank you, Enrique. And we can see the sluggish nature starting to, to build up on Maximus here. And Dope Son is incredibly efficient with his punches, and when he throws, he lands. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. Nice combination by Patty Melt. That jab doesn't find a home. Wow. Wow. What a punch. The speed of Dope Sun right now. Oh, you know it's really carrying him to fight right now. It's making a big difference right now. And he's just waiting on those moments, capitalize, finding those openings, scoring, piling on the points. So what would you recommend Patty Melt to do right now at this point in the fight? I think Patty Melt probably needs to be looking for the counter. Uh, probably panicking a bit right now. Again, the speed is overwhelming and you can see it. Unofficial has um, Patty Melt down by two points. Be smart, be sharp. The that's, in line, don't get that's in line with Enrique's call last correct. round. Correct, correct. Your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Touching him up again. Little boast in here by Dope Son saying, Come on, meet me in the middle of the ring. What are you doing? Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Oh, my goodness. What pace? What pace? They're like... Wow. Do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. The speed of dogs are right. That's incredible. Fantastic. And there's Patty Melt again throwing multiple shots. Panicking. The defense failed there. Dope son oh. got him on the body.
What a combination wow. by the dope son. Wow. And he sent him a souvenir going down there. Slow motion. A shot from the gods took him out. Two, three. Can he get up, Patty Bell? And he does. He should grab right now or run. Because the two options he has right now. You will correct there. He needs to get on a back or he needs to become a lover. He's staying away from danger now, but those body shots. And it looks like Dobson's going for that body. Oh, look. Like I said before, don't count out Patty Melt. Oh, man, he almost had him at the end of the round. A chance to make things equal. How do you see it, Enrique Iglesias? Tell me what you, what you got on your mind right now on this fight. I have Dope Son up 67, 58. And can never count out the pieces Maximus power as he displayed it there in the later rounds of the last round. Thank you, Enrique. Both men squaring up. Body blows thrown by Maximus. If Patamel can time those side, he could probably end this fight early. It is the only thing to make it equal with that kind of speed is timing. And right now, the timing is off of Patamel Maximus. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Oh my oh. god, I'm crushing body shots. This straight to the body is incredible. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect. He catches him. Because no one catches him throwing that spaghetti string out there. He's trying to hold. Using some veteran tactics here. Maximus looks like he's flat footed, looks like he's out of gas. Punch. Look at the hand speed and footwork between these two elite level middleweights. And there it is. Oh, the punch punching the body knows. shot. Oh my God. That straight to the body was open. He he tagged it about three or four times right there. And it's no surprise that he went down. Now it is surprising he got up. It is surprising he got up right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell because that body is, is beat up, Yusuf. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like to be him right now. Hey, fellas, I was ringside for that one, and you could hear the ribs cracking on that blow. Wow. Very, very surprised. Yeah. Fresh as a Crazy. That's not going to happen. He's got a horse on that. He's got a, he's got a bluff. Oh. Another body blow. I think this might be an early night if that body continues to be open. Here we go with the dope son. Get ready to see some blazing hits. You know what they say, you stay away the body, the head will follow. Oh my god, he's punishing him to the body. And to see the calm demeanor of Dobson, well, he just well took that order. big chunk out of a rib and stepped back instead of getting greedy. Has to be careful oh, capitalizing. It looks like Patty Mills a little mobilized right now. He's on very flat-footed right now. He looks very tired. He's running on gas and living on a prayer. a match made in heaven. He needs, he needs a hair barrier. He needs a hair barrier about now. I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? The man is a, so a Burger Man protege coming out of Camp Burger. Storied sure. history. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Facts, facts. I expect nothing more than a display of heart here. As 
Dopeson no, no. seems to be toying with his food here. Nonetheless, I think Patty Mo's done very well because of what we're seeing right now. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight has been a slow swinging pendulum, but for the most part, it swung on one side. Let's talk about Taylor in that last round. He is down big time on the score. Another round in the books. Another round ending the same way. We're coming here on the final round. Enrique. Final round here. What is the corner saying? Oh, Dopeson's corner just instructed his guy that he has this one in the bag. He just has to bring it home. And fellas, you know, being here ringside, I believe I spotted eyes on Golden, the undisputed champs right now with the first crack has his buy has his seat at the title fight for the true sim box so well we are the golden boys in ringside waiting for the outcome of the for this tournament What a body shot. Oh, man. Again, with another body shot. The prestigious Golden Boy at ringside watching in his final fight in the first round. Who's he going to fight? That strap is going to be floating in the air. Close to his fingertips. But who's the opponent going to be? Patty Melt up again. This is this is maddening. He's showing, a heart, he's showing a heart of a warrior, man. Regardless, showing the heart of a warrior. As you know, two rounds ago, Yusuf, I, I I would not have put money on it that this fight was going to go the distance, and with ten seconds left here. Oh. oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh. What a dominant and it does oh. go to the cards. Saved by the bell and possibly saving a lot of hospital bills. We see Dobson move on to the second round. Great performance by Dobson. Great performance. Uh Addy Mel did all he can. The speed of Dobson was too much for him tonight. An exciting fight, nonetheless. Wow. The fights that we've had in this first round, Yusuf. And that concludes the first round of this title shot eliminator tournament. Yusuf, what a first round. Incredible. Incredible. We have PCAS moving on. We have TKO moving on. Grumpy moving on, Dopeson moving on, and Dopeson and Picaz are going to be the opening fight for the semifinals. What a and fight. Okay. Grumpy and TKO will be that second fight in that semifinal with the title shot eliminator. I'm, I'm super stoked, Yusuf. Both these uh, fights are going to be incredible. They're going to be very unpredictable, so I don't know who's going to win. Well, I know who they're gonna who they're gonna end up facing. Whoever whoever these men end up facing, the winner of that fight will end up facing the man who was here in the crowd tonight. Golden Boy. The man that got up to 19 wins. The man that earned himself a title shot. What other man's gonna be beside him with equal prestige? Well, let's find out in the semifinals. I don't know about you, Yusuf, but I, I can't wait. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep till then. It's going to be a tough one to call, man. I don't, I, everybody has talent right now. Everybody has great skills. I don't know who, to the pinpoint, who's going to be the best out of these four right here. Well, the final four, the final four, and it's, it's time for some March Madness. Definitely. Well, that's all tonight. I'm DT Elam. This is Yusuf Q. 
saying good night. Good night, everyone.